management in the matter of NYHI. Lord Wilson will explain the decision of the court. In June, the Court of Appeal in England and Wales ordered that an Israeli girl, aged two, should be returned to Israel immediately. A year ago, her parents had brought her from their home in Israel to London in order that the family could start a new life here. But in January, their marriage had broken down. The father had returned to Israel, but the mother had stayed here with the child. In effect, therefore, the court's order was that the mother should immediately return to Israel with the child so that the rabbinical court there could resolve the issues between the parents about the optimum arrangements for her. In July, this court heard the mother's appeal against that order, and in August it announced that her appeal was allowed for reasons to be given later. Today, in a judgment to which all five of us subscribe, we give our reasons, and I now offer you a brief summary of them. The father's application to the High Court in London for the child's immediate return to Israel was brought under the Hague Convention on International Child Abduction 1980, by which both the UK and Israel have agreed to be bound. When children habitually resident in State A are unlawfully removed to or retained in State B, this convention generally requires State B to order their immediate return to State A. The trial judge made an order for the child's immediate return to Israel under the convention. But, for reasons which the Court of Appeal explained, he was wrong to conclude that the criteria specified in the convention had been met. This appeal arises from what the Court of Appeal then did for it made the same order which he had made, but it stated that its order was made under the inherent jurisdiction of the court below, which an appellate court can always itself exercise, rather than under the convention. The mother's first contention before us was that the High Court's inherent jurisdiction wasn't available, even in principle, for exercise here. She argued that an immediate return of a child to a foreign state can, other than under the convention, be the subject only of a specific issue order under the Children Act 1989. We conclude, however, that although an immediate return abroad, other than under the convention, should generally be the subject of a specific issue order, there are circumstances in which it can be ordered under the inherent jurisdiction. But we uphold the mother's other contention, which was that it wasn't open to the Court of Appeal to exercise the inherent jurisdiction on the evidence before it. The exercise of the High Court's inherent jurisdiction in relation to children is governed by Section 1.1 of the Children Act, which makes their welfare the paramount consideration. Even when the court contemplates exercising it so as to order their immediate return abroad, in other words, without inquiry into the optimum arrangements for them in the longer term, it has to be satisfied that their welfare requires their immediate return. Exercise of the jurisdiction under the convention is different because it specifies the applicable criteria under which the children's welfare is not paramount. It follows that the judge didn't conduct an inquiry in which this child's welfare was paramount and that he didn't make findings which enabled the Court of Appeal to conclude that her welfare required her immediate return to Israel. In the judgment, we identify eight aspects of her welfare to which the Court of Appeal needed to give, at any rate, some consideration before making an order under the inherent jurisdiction. But it didn't do so, and couldn't do so, and we therefore allowed the appeal. 